guys from the lioness here and this is just a section of lioness say so i know we should be back in mid-september but guys i thought this is something i should just come out and talk about it well um you guys uh the guys who follow up my story you guys clearly know what i went through like a week ago and um yeah so thank you for everybody who supported me for everybody who was there for me for everybody who attended the memorial and everything so guys i really appreciate you god bless you and for everyone who encouraged me and sent messages and tributes guys you guys are amazing but for today i am here to talk about healing and healing is not a very easy subject for guys you know let me tell you one thing um i always put myself on the hot spot because i always feel like the best example is set when you talk about yourself not rather than talk about other people now guys um my healing has taken like three years just let's be honest like three years for me to be able to just try and continue with my life or somehow maybe proceed with um you know like maisha kukua. you get me now guys um first of all what i can what i can say today that i don't want to be referred to as a widow anymore i don't want to live in that cocoon of grief that people are used to me like always being oh mimi tu ni kwa hapo tu na post post mtu wangu vitu kama hizo guys i think i've reached a point in my life that i just want it to be over which i have actually declared and i have decided so for people who keep keep on feeling sorry for me guys please please stop because i am okay i am fine and i am completely and 100% healed now i want to talk to somebody out there who is having a problem with healing who is having a problem with coming to terms with the loss of their loved and doesn't matter if it is your husband your wife your kid or your parents you know whatever it is that you're going through um healing is up to you actually i've discovered healing is up to you you see in statistics they say that healing should take around six months at least you should be okay and if you go past six months that means that you're going to fix it on this thing for a very long time and that's what happened to me i fixated on this thing i fixated i fixated i fixated so much until like i'm like three years of my life have just gone by and yet um and I'm still feeling like, you know, oh, manze, umse aliniacha, but you know what? Somebody should have come and told me earlier on that, yo, you know what? You need to let go. You need to move on. You need to start, you know, like another journey or another part of your life that, you know, needs to start now rather than you waiting for such a long time. And then, unajua, you still remain the same. Now, today, I want to talk about, like I said before, healing. Healing is up to you. You see, when you fixate on the death of this person, let me tell you one thing. You're the only one who is getting hurt. Funny thing, this has taken me a long time to realize that you're the only one who is getting hurt. As in, I'm telling you, this person is gone. They're never going to feel your pain. They're not feeling what you're going through them. They have rested. They're flying with their angels and you're just there crying and, and just, you know, just living in this cocoon of misery. Let me tell you guys, I have been miserable, miserable. You know, you, you pretend to be okay around people. You pretend to be okay. Maybe even you lie to yourself a day or two that you're okay. But up here, you can't lie to your brain. And one thing that I've discovered is I am the master of my own misery or the mistress of my own misery. Because I have fixated on somebody. Clearly other people have even forgotten. You know, and I'm not saying that it's, it's not it's a bad thing actually i'm taking it as a learning experience and trying to pass on my knowledge to people who right now i know that you're you're holding on to this person or you're holding on to this illusion that this person owes you nini. actually funny thing they're never coming back and they're not gonna communicate trust me i prayed for a sign or anything so that i could hear his voice or maybe could see him a flash of him or whatever and trust me it never happened Thank God, thank my family, I thank all my friends who have been there for me. Maze, you guys have been my voice of reason and you guys, I love you so much. Now guys, if you do not let yourself heal, you will suffer. You will suffer. I'm telling you, this thing will take you forever. It will take you forever. You know, the mind is such a weird thing because... Any, have you ever wanted something so badly that it's actually in your mind when you go to sleep, when you wake up? So this is a thing. We badly want to live in the state of denial. But funny thing is, <laughs> you need to snap out of it. I wish somebody told me snap out of it and they were strict with me. They told me, you know what, Sironka, snap out of it. 
I would have really appreciated that a lot, a lot, a lot, honestly. And um, when when it comes to uh, this part whereby that um, you are not accepting of what has happened, man. You are going to live in that cocoon alone because nobody is going to stay in that cocoon with you. People are going to move on with their lives. People are going to strive for other things. Guys are going to leave the country. Other people are going to, you know, move. You know, because nobody actually wants to be like that. Nobody wants to be around a person like that. Funny thing is, in fact, I am very lucky to have family and friends who can stand my bullshit to the point whereby they have stood by me all these years. Imagine that. Hmm? You know, nobody wants to live in that sense of misery. Nobody wants to see the person they love when they're miserable. So they rather just avoid you. I thank God because the people around me never avoided me. In fact, they consumed, they, you know, they, they just went along with it. They're like, okay, fine. With time, she'll move on. With time, she'll find the peace she needs. But what I've come to do today and, and what I've realized today is that I am the one who was holding myself back. I am the one who was fixated on that. The world moved on. I'm the one who was left behind, you know, and I'm not saying grieving is a bad thing. I'm not saying grieving is a bad thing. I am just saying that if you fixate on grief, I am telling you, you are going to be left behind and the world will move on. Time waits for nobody. So if you are there watching me and I'm sorry to say this, it is time you snap out of it. If you know you have given yourself enough time and that's like maybe six months or so, you need to snap out of it. I am, I know I want to say that there's no road, there's no roadmap to grief, but that, that map is not going to appear magically or there is no cure for that. It's for you to pick yourself up. It's for you to decide, you know what? I'm done with this. Like, I can't do this anymore. I am just dragging myself behind. Let me just, let me do what I can to move on. And I just want to talk to you out there. If you're watching me, oh, right now, you're just in a state of mind. You're thinking you're hopeless. You're not hopeless. Believe you me, it's all here. It's all in your head. You know, if, 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 if grief could kill people, I think there would have been, a lot of people would have died. A lot. Because how many people have lost their loved ones? We ain't special. It's just that maybe everybody mourns in their own way. Or maybe everybody takes their own time to just snap out of this situation. But trust me today, take it from somebody who has spent three years of their lives, you know, just crying and, and, and just isolating myself and, and subjecting myself to loneliness and uh, subjecting myself to not having desire for other people you know because for real as in me i, I would just be honest i didn't want any other guy it's gonna attack i'd be interested with you today tomorrow skutaki you know and that's not how you're supposed to live your life you're supposed to live your life so that you can be happy you you fulfill yourself in ways that you know just be you you know I was so tired of crying. I've grown so tired of mourning, so tired of always being the unhappy person, the person who does not want other people around them. You know, like in, if I feel like I'm, I just go somewhere and I start feeling people are getting on my nerves, I just leave or I just act, start acting weird. You don't want to be that person that people are always on the edge around because they're like, oh man, we can't say anything. Maybe the person will get mad or they don't want to piss you off because maybe they love you, they're your friends, they're your family. You never know. And nobody will stand with you unless it's God, your family, or people who care about you. When you walk around the street, nobody knows you're bereaved. When you go, when you go to when you go to sleep or when you wake up in the morning, the day and the night do not know that you're bereaved. So they won't stop happening. You know? And I learned a lesson from this uh, third year is that <sighs> you are in this basically alone. And I'm gonna give you a story, you know, and, and it's gonna be like, you know, <sighs> how do I put this? People will not wait around for you to heal. Nobody will wait around for you to heal. Nobody, okay? You're going to see people moving on with their lives. People are going to date. People are just going to do their own thing. Now, what are you talking about? Stagnant. Aren't you tired of being stagnant in one place, fixating on somebody who's not even there? 
you know it makes me angry at myself sometimes because i'm thinking yo mo because you know my friends call me mo that's short for maureen you know like maureen what the hell have you been what are you waiting for you know what is this that you're doing to yourself every single day you're not happy every single hour you're just staring at somebody and you start crying trust me yeah people don't see me crying but let me tell you one thing mimi will you know and that's the thing that's the thing that i've grown tired of and i'm like what even on Taishi for the rest of my life. Is this the way I'm going to be? Is this... You know what? The pain is not going to end. You're just going to have to send, set your mind in a way that you're going to have to let yourself at least be happy. You know? Just think of it this way. Life has moved on. You know? <sighs> it's time for you to move on. And if you have been in a state of grief for a long time like me, I need to tell you one thing. You need to move on. Get yourself out of that cocoon. Go out there. See the world. Meet new people. You never know. You might actually even... Your life might change. But the moment you just sit in the houses, have a routine, oh, me, I'm like... <sighs> Nobody's gonna wait for you. Life is not... Me, me, I'm telling you, me, I've seen people moving on. I've seen life moving on and here I am still sad. Here I am, I'm, I'm in my 30s, I am single, you know, I, I don't have any, you know, nothing going on for me apart from my career, you see, which I love so much. But at the end of the day, no man is an island, you need people around you, you need people to stand with you, you need people to have, you need people to, to want to be around you, you need to be pleasant, because let me tell you, grieving people were very unpleasant. I am telling you, we are just, we just piss off people. As in, you know how messed up that is. People don't want to see that. People don't want to see that, by the way. You know. And you need to, to pull yourself up. You know, genuine. Pray to God. You're going to get somewhere. You're going to meet somebody. Or you're going to reach somewhere in life that you're going to be proud of yourself. And be like, you know what? It happened. It happened fine this is the way it is it's the will of god we cannot do anything about it but what we can do is we can pray and we can hope for a better future so start training yourself right now start training your mind to heal me what i do whenever i start thinking about him i flip i'd rather go and watch videos on tiktok i'd rather go and look at other people's profiles on on ig or facebook i'd rather do anything else but think about him because I know that this one thing could have easily destroyed me. And if I let it, it is going to mess me up. So guys, I just want to encourage you today that it is okay to let them go. It is okay to let them go. Because it was their time. We cannot change that. If, if it could be able to be changed, I think somebody would already have changed that. But it can't. So take it from me, somebody who was becoming a professional grief. Is it griever? I'm a professional mourner. <laughs> yeah. It is okay to move on. It is okay to let them go. And it is time for you to do something for yourself, something in your life today. Don't wait for tomorrow. It's a mindset that you need to have. Take it from me. It has really saved me. It has really, really helped me. I don't blame you for missing them i'm not stopping you from missing them but do you live your life live your life and trust me with time don't worry if people judge you out there oh she has been like this for this oh I, no you don't owe anybody anything if you are a widow go ahead and date if you're a widow go ahead and date Nobody is stopping you. At the end of the day, you are single. Single, not by choice, but you are single. Okay? There is no time limit. Of course, there's just that time of, uh, that time of you give oh, for respect. You know, at least you show, you, you, you help, your, you know, you give yourself time to mourn. You, you know, sometimes even society, you have to prove to society, oh, it's not like I'm happy that they are gone. You know, give yourself that time kunako kapiro to the chipatia. But let me tell you, it's time for you to wake up from that seat or that bed you're watching from, you, you're watching me from, and do something about yourself. This person is, and by the way, let me tell you, get rid of everything that belong to this person. I'm not saying throw it away. Even give it to your relative to keep it for you. Even go put it in a storage. 
Let me tell you, these small, small things you see around the house that they give you memories, those are the things that are pulling you back. Oh, you'll be like, oh, you'll be like, oh, that was her dress. No! Give away those things. If these things are clothes, you, you are not going to wear those clothes anymore. Why are you holding on to memories that are going to destroy you? Finally, give them out. Give them out to the less fortunate or give them out to the church. Give them out somewhere. If there are things like moment, you know those sentimental things that you need to have, give them to your relative. My mom has my rings. I mean, you know, just Patiana, give yourself a fresh start. You're not going to regret it. Because what, the moment they passed on, they passed on to another realm. You are left here on earth. You don't know how long you have on earth. So why stay on earth when you're miserable? And yet you have a chance. You've been given a chance to live. You've been given a chance to move on with your life. Take the opportunity. Don't fixate on grief. Let me tell you one thing. I have fixated on grief and trust me. Right now, I just want to slap myself. Honestly. I want you guys to be encouraged. I want you guys today to just acknowledge the fact that uliachwa. Na sasa nataka uachike. Melewa. Mimi nilikataa kuachika. Hebu cheki. Eh? Niko 32 na hata sina amse. You know those are the things, eh? But just pick yourself up. Dust yourself. Say it's okay. Say fine, fine, I accept it. I, I accept it. And you will see God will strengthen you because at the end of the day, you have to take a step even for God to help you. You know, God helps those who help themselves. Don't give yourself at your own. Don't make excuses to fixate yourself in that situation. Don't make, don't make excuses to remain in the dark. Because let me tell you, grief is darkness. It is darkness that runs deep. And let me tell you one thing. You are the only one who is sinking in that hole. And I've realized it. That I was the only one who was sinking in that hole. May God help me you know, continue with this positivity that I have, re I have made a self-realization that you know what? It's not worth it. To live your life in someone's shadow that honestly they're not even here i don't even know what you're doing and i know today today is not a typical show like i uh, it's trust me there is no cameraman here there is no um there's no cameraman here there's no director there's nothing it's just me and you guys okay this is a completely unedited there's nothing here it's just raw cut just me and you guys, and let me tell you, one day you will realize that enyewe nilikuwa tunaji waste. Nasi kwa ubaya. Nasi poa kufilivo. Nasi jasema atiku lilia mse ulikuwa napena ni kuji waste. Ni kukali kukawia yo feeling unaka hapo menye melea ya ni utaki kutoka hapo. Yo ni kuji waste. Na mimi kutoka leo da saki kusikia anything ati oh 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 ah ah. I don't want it. I have decided in my, I have decided to myself that this is over. I am done, Quisha. That's it. You give, you, you, you give what you can give and then you move on. Just like the way they moved on, you move on. And I'm sorry that I sound a bit strict. I sound a bit tough, but I think if I had gotten this extra tough love right now, I think I would have started healing even more and faster before but iku bembelezo na bembelezo na ambiwe hivu na ambiwe hivu na ambiwe hivu na kuambia hezi kusaidia. Eh. Kama watu wawa wakuongeleshi sawa. Atisana na wawo. Eh. Kama mabeshte wako wamekutoka juzijuni ni sawa. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. I dunia ni, ni kubwa by the way. This world has so many people. So you don't even need to stick yourself around some people and, so that you can feel so validated. Dama sijui nini. Hakuna. Imeisha, imeisha. Finished. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I know this is not a typical me, but let me tell you one thing. Ata mi mi stawa bembeleza vinyo mi sakangiku. Na wish singe bembeleza. You get. Anyway, I just want you to be strong. Keep praying. Keep holding on to, you know, to the positivity around your life. Surround yourself with the right people. Stay away from things that will, will make you fall into depression, man. Okay? Yeah, so guys as you can see yes, nimeva t-shirt yangu nitwa Sironka Lioness. Kama una una tikai t-shirt afadhali 
make sure you go in instagram or lioness say so page and dm us we will send you a t-shirt manze make sure you specify size yako wewe ni mkubwa mdogo mdogo kabisa wewe ni mkubwa sana doesn't matter we'll deliver it to you thank you so much guys for listening to me um you know kama kawaida i love talking to you guys and i love advising people and i love you know just you know to come grow not to come grow i just want you to grow you know i don't want you to just stay at one point and you say oh no no Please, 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 if you're out there and maybe you need grief counseling, make sure you seek it. If you need to go uh, talk to religious leaders, if you need to talk to your family, make sure you talk to your family. But at the end of the day, remember, only you can pull yourself out of that darkness. Nobody else. Take it from me, man. Mina wapenda sana kama kawaida. I've been Sironka the Lioness. And make sure, guys, you watch out for season 7 that is dropping on mid-October. I love you guys. See ya. Bye. Happy Sunday.